Oh, for the Knights Ling of has no target, Avalon. <laughs> Ling has no targets in this fight. Ling will have no one to really focus I'm loving on. Loving what uh, the draft is about, but let's see in the early game what's going on with this because this is unusual. So the unusual early will happen for sure. We see Demon taking some damage there. But he's fine. He's playing S mate. It's a very tanky thing to take down early on. You can't really do much. Mikasado versus Basic. Basic? Ooh. Okay. For yeah. now, let's wait a bit more. And uh I mean, it as is soon as a that... one and oh game uh, right now. We do see that Hearts Guard warning onto Mikasa. Up at the top, you see Basic does go down, landing onto Freya. Is the Hearts Guard. Arvel actually might be in trouble. Lands the pop up, catches Chapau as well. Now you can see Demon Tap as the Blades comes down. Chapau using the flicker does get taken down. Final hit there by Demon. It is a one, a two for one right now for Avalon or for the Knights of Fate. Oh, we do. Our, we're still continuing. It. Fallen comes in, does claim. Unstoppable. The damage he brings is really, really annoying for for tanky heroes and for anyone else. Actually, the burst she has just can melt through anything. So good call from Mika and for just stepping back, sacrificing Shopo. It is what it is. You have to take some decisions on these spots. They get the control of the space around the turtle. Can they get it against Lingo? Nice yeah, mobilization. We see, that. <laughs> we see that Kai able to find the turtle while Powerless picks off Ling. Right now, Knights of Fate, I, I was talking before about how Avalon was able to get a win over them. Knights of Fate actually, oh, we do have another pop up there. Just as I was talking about it, Powerless is going to be able to go ahead and use that flicker, but in comes Mikasa, activates that Valkyrie's descent. Oh my and god. Basic, with just the tiniest bit of health, in comes Demon. Basic able to get away if he sneezes he's gonna die on the battlefield right now but he able to find the safety as powerless and the rest mikasa here trying to double team onto demon with a great i want to say set up there to secure basics escape Ooh, basic he showed himself there he almost got picked he's gonna get picked by Freya. no way did he go <laughs> back to the way he in basic, just a little too greedy there. You can see Mikasa gets picked off by Demon. He's fine. Basic having a hard time. Let's be honest, he's having a hard time. Beautiful play with the flicker, running out of the of the fret, but then coming back into the bush, staying there, and he showed himself actually. Mikasa saw him. Yeah, and we see right here, Mikasa does have that hearts guard on right now. Arvel's gonna be the first target down, and Mikasa goes down as well. Basic with that torn apart memories, able to finish the job. You can see the minions Blading, over here. Especially when you take into account the nerf on only recently. Yeah, we can uh, see it's... up at the top right now. Four members, they do come in with the flicker play onto Mikasa. Hearts guard gonna keep him up. The tower is still at about 10%. Chapau comes in. Is it going to be enough? Powerless finds a kill onto Arvel. And down goes a basic. Fallen and Demon trying to find an escape. Oh, Fallen actually wanted to get that minion. They're trying to catch up on the economy. But again, they got to take their time. It's just not their time right now. And focus the right people. Oh, big penalty zone there lands demon goes down toinks is the next on the list goes down as well mikasa finds himself a tower arvel with just a little bit activates that primal wrath it's not enough to save him from zero fallen dashing away is he going to be able to find himself he uses a dash, but they flicker in. executed well even without a marksman going with something super unorthodox and being super successful with it you can see the big pop up there hard scarred onto chapau but he's not afraid he's gonna dive in very deep basics gonna have to expand that flicker to get away toinks is gonna be the first to go down zero with the kill there mikasa finds the kill onto arvel hearts guard still there fallen finds a kill under zero tempest of blades is down is he gonna be able to get away he gets stunned oh down and that's wow. the core for knights wow. of fate and a support um interesting i'm a bit less interested by this draft from knights of fate maybe they could prove me wrong but um <laughs> this game I, I like what avalon has slightly more i feel like the valier only has one of the two necessities that i usually have uh, in my head when i want to pick valier down what? on this turtle there are four members of avalon here ready to pounce kai up there with the finch pose oh he just misses the tyrant's revenge fallen still able to pick up the lord and mikasa misses with that last insanity kai comes in puts in some dashes down there chapau goes down to fallen up at the top Best case scenario for Fallen, he gets the first blood, he secures the, the turtle, a good CC on to Link to cancel his ability to contest the, the retribution fight here. Really well executed from Avalon, that's the Avalon we saw last Ooh. week. Is that enough? Oh, yes. Yeah.
Yeah, just We did enough. take a little peek at those items. You saw the Clock of Destiny already on Demon right now. Just a little already? bit behind right now is Chapal with that Valir. You can see right now come in. Tempest the Blades comes down with that sphere oh from the Novara. In comes Arville. He does land a set. Powerless goes down. Basic coming in. Trying to put on the damage. Ooh. You do see that torn apart memories. Chapal goes down to that beautiful Snipes. snipe from Demon. Beautiful snipe from Demon, and I, I, I gotta say, Fallen just surviving, you know, being able to escape their Arbor, re-engaging perfectly. Yeah, Kai, being Kai is down, Quad Shadows, in comes Fallen, gets the the retry onto Doesn't the... seem to be that better in the early game for Ling, and we see Mikasa getting some help from Valir to get that tier 1 on the bot lane, that's something to start with for KOF, but they're gonna need much more than that because they're gonna lose the tower in the mid. We're gonna see... Oh, you do see Powerless about to go down. Torn Apart Memories cleans him up. I mean, we have one tower. They did lose that tower at mid, and definitely when it comes to those scaling of those towers, I want to say that mid tower, definitely more important when it comes to opening up the jungle. Oh, we do see Arvel does dive in there. Zero in trouble. Down comes the Zaman Force, and he gets wiped out by an Astral Spear from Demon. Attempts by Powerless. Successful attempts of picking up targets. It's just... Uh... It's just been hard, it's just been hard, man. And they're getting sniped, they're always getting pushed. And when you're playing Kacha, you don't want to have all this pressure all the time. You kind of want to have... Big penalty zone. Do you have the Tempest of Blades? Last Insanity by Mikasa doesn't find a target. Astral Spear goes wide. Big push from Japao on that Valir. Down goes Toinks, punished. Punishing that front line is the Valir torn apart memories. Yeah, Demon is pushing on the top. He's sitting on Freezer 1, he's doing quite good. He's not getting picked so much by the Ling, what we were scared of. As hmm. I'm seeing this, though. Oh, speaking of that, you just see Ling comes in with the Tempest of Blades, <laughs> trying to put the damage on the, the curse of the caster. <laughs> sit there, immediately gets picked up. Arvel finds a target there, able to take down Powerless is basic. Turn around. Yeah, As right now, fall difference. Yeah, we're Knight or Fallen is working his way through the jungle quite quickly here. Both teams kind of reset on the map right now. Eight to three lead for Avalon and about a 4K, no, uh, under, just under a 4K lead for the side. Oh, actually, as we talk about that, Zero, it's going to go ahead and lock on the toys. Gets caught with a Divine Judgment. Is that going to be enough? Down he goes. That is four members of the Knights of Fate. Find a beautiful kill onto Avalon. Mikasa on the other side of the map is getting honed in here. Pi Basic finds himself a torn apart memories it's not going to be able to take mikasa down but he does run away oh nice Ooh. Ooh. wow just a, the combination of the astral spear and the shadow kill kind of make it easy for hayabusa or any other assassin to just get the jump the job finished fallen just going Ooh. for the, the double kill here Ooh, little uh, shield done <laughs> I was gonna say it was a good call from KUF to focus on Terry's light. It's really um, hard to really get it. Oh, okay. Wow! wow. Basic their time. It's perfect. They're really managing well with their lead. Just taking bit by bit, objective by objective. Not rushing it. This is the experience of Avalon. Oh, speaking of which, in comes Arvel, does get the set. Tempest the Blades out on the ground. Mikasa comes in. Zero finds a kill onto Arvel, and they have a good Down to half health. One ability. We're at the point. Oh, we do have a concealed play. He's going to use that flicker. Powerless comes in, catches the Divine Judgment. Is it going to be enough to take down Demon? Down to 10%. That's a wrap, and down goes the Sniper. They were tired. Opportunities with a team with this Kaja, but uh, it doesn't matter. Avalon. Ooh. They come in there, they do have that shadow kill out and down goes a Fallen. I was just about to remark on basic, actually, I want to say 3K gold above his fellow marksman. So he is in a great position to be able to kind of carry the team here. So if I'm Knights of Fate, that is the target I am looking for. You can see basic over there putting on the damage and goes ahead, activates that immortality, down goes a powerless. Now the rest of Okay, get that Lord sure, but be careful not to get picked. Yeah, we're waiting here. Looks like we're looking for a good position. In comes Kai. Tempest of Blades is out. Big pop-up. Gets the kill. On to basic. Here comes the last insanity. Deep into the back line. Demon finds a kill as well as a fallen. Now you have zero and Chapao. Down goes Arvel. It is two oh, members. Be careful. Your timing on the next fights are going to be very vital. There was about six, seven minions on the top lane pushing. That puts a lot of pressure on Avalon to find uh, a conclusion to this face-off. 
Yeah, you see Zero does get caught. Quad shadows into the shadow kill as well. And down goes Zero. Second kill finds Chapao. With these spheres from Demon, it's doing such a great job of making sure that even before these fights start, speaking of which, here comes Powerless, gets stunned, knocked against the wall, and taken down by a basic. Again, again, Poirot is getting picked by Kufra. Like I said, there's too much gap. Right now, Kaja is not sustainable enough to survive this. They are pushing on the mid. Oh. Quad Shadows goes in. The mid tower is not long for this world. You see the damage onto Chapal. They're going to have to run back to base. Finding a kill onto Zero. Now we are at the core looking to finish it off. Last Insanity, a last ditch effort for Mikasa. Finds a kill onto Basic from Kai. The rest of the team, Mikasa go down. Down goes Kai and Chapal. That's going to be a wrap. This next game going mm -hmm. to Avalon. I guess I was right. <laughs> and then, I mean, you're also talking like you're going to need to come in with that last insanity. That leaves you incredibly open after that ends as well. Uh, Knights of and Faith, they're going to have, it's going to be a struggle for them. And we get Lilia last. Uh, yeah, I like Avalon's draft. All right, so we agree you could go both sides, but Avalon or Knights of Faith? You like to dodge the question, <laughs> but you got to give me. You got to give me. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming in here. You do see Demon does a catch a nice hook to the vision. Right now, already, Knights of Fate doing a good job of kind of remaining a little bit of a nuisance to Avalon, pushing into the jungle, making sure they're still getting their farm. Oh, big hook lands on the basic. He is going to be able to push away. Last Insanity comes out. Is it going to be able to find a kill? It does not, but their last bit of damage does find basic. He is now down Arvel in a bad way, about to one-third health. And this is all while Avalon sitting there focusing on the turtle right now. A very good call from Poroless, knowing that Basic doesn't have ultimate here, really committing to get the kill. The turtle is up, though. Who's gonna get? Yeah, you can see Toinks over there gets the turtle, and now we are at a brawl. Trapal goes down as well, falling, putting on the boots across the, the throat. Rough of waves, and Trapal's gonna be able to find himself a little bit of distance from the other team, Avalon. Here, you can see both laners are uh, doing a good job here. I want to say the marksman has surprisingly remained very even. Powerless comes out, ooh, and a hook just wide. Arvel comes wow. out wow. with the man of Tyrant's Revenge. Here comes the suppression. And now Kai able to find the kill. Arvel goes down. Fallen in the middle of it. Goes down as well. This is a 3v1. Basic needs to get out of there. Gets slowed down by that ability from zero. They're not able to find a kill. I think it was the worst case scenario for Avalon as they are getting chased. Oh, big pop up and a beautiful synergy there by the side of Knights of Fate. Demon's gonna Retail have to. Tell is so ahead of of, uh, of Leslie. It's gonna be a big problem for Basic from now on. Four. Let's keep the pressure on the bot lane as uh, Avalon is trying to secure the turtle. Oh, speaking of the oh pressure now, Basic in trouble here. You do see that. Oh, <laughs> Basic actually outplays, able to flicker out of the way. Down goes Powerless. Zero's going to go ahead. He's going to try to get this tower here. You see, meanwhile, we have a fight here at the turtle. Toik's in a bit of trouble. Penalty zone comes in. He's going to use that flicker to get out of harm's way. Arvel comes in. Tyrant's Rage pins two against the wall. Toik's coming in with that ability. No. He is able to find the kill onto Chapau, another kill onto Kai nice from under the enemy tower to get a kill for your goal laner. It's actually very worth it because the worst case scenario uh, here it was really worst case scenario. He died alone, but uh, best case, you know, you're trading your roamer for the enemy goal laner is perfect. You can get the tower for a less again. Coming. Conceal play, flicker into the suppression. In comes Arvel to try to save his teammate. Down goes powerless. Arvel finds the kill there, and you can see Kai trying to put oh on the damage. God. Beautiful flicker wow. off by Arvel. Arvel, zero, finding a kill onto him in the last insanity. He's going to go ahead and cover their escape. Chapau in a bad way between four oh, members oh, of Avalon. Wow. A little bit of a miscommunication there. I think that turtle As... most likely a bit ahead in goal. Yeah, you can see Powell is doing a good job trying to get some vision here. Half health there. Oh, we uh, find the pop-up on to Demon and the kill. Down, and now you see Zero onto the back lines there, trying to zone out Toinks. And just like that, Knights of Fate, concealed play now, coming in onto Arvel with that bravest fighter form from Mikasa. And meanwhile, the rest of the Knights of Fate doing a great job of securing this turtle. Last Insanity comes in, secures the kill onto Toinks. And you can see right now, Fallen in a little bit of trouble. Appraiser's wow, takes the damage. down powerless. Kai in trouble as well. Avalon cleaning up shop. Zero is not long for this world, but 
I don't know if he found a kill before he died. Nope. And that is going to be a clip And he did. I can't believe Fallen is, is finding this, these timings, man. It's so, <laughs> so, so. Oh, we do have another last insanity. Fallen and Demon going to go ahead and create some distance. Oh, we have a concealed play. Basic comes in here. Uh, putting on the damage. You can see Mikasa diving into the lane. Big hook lands, but Powerless suffers for it. Fallen comes in, puts the damage on very quickly. Here comes Arville again. He is surgical when it comes to these ultimates from Kufra in job right now. Fallen has such confidence on this hero, and that's kind of what you get, that double-edged sword when you're playing a Fredrin. You take so much damage, you have to be able to kind of hold your trigger finger before you release that ult. I got it. Oh my god, the hook. Jesus, powerless lands a hook there, plus a suppression. The sound of okay. pig makes. <laughs> okay, points. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and start on this Lord. You can see five members of Avalon sitting here in good position. Fallen actually in the background finds a kill onto Mikasa. Kai desperately trying to put some damage onto this Lord, but it's already reset. You are a man down, and you can see the split priorities right now. Avalon doing a great job of creating some pressure. Rough Waves comes out. Toy's going to have to expend that flicker. Kai coming in with a last insanity, and now he is down to about half health as well. As I was seeing, Leslie was pushing on the mid. No, he's going in the back, basic. Yeah, zero in trouble here. Oh, oh big hook God. lands. Powerless finds the kill onto basic and a pop up for the other two members. Powerless in trouble. <laughs> Look at the jukes and jives from that Franco. He is twinkle toes right now. Demon oh. goes. <laughs> Powerless getting covered by his teammates. As you can see, that no. magic sentry going ahead, giving away the position. Kadena comes in, is not able to find the Lord. A pretty neutral pick you want to have all the time, but here is going to be tough to defend. Again, another well timed waves. Look on the sides, look on the mid. Yeah, and this is the difference between other teams and when it comes to Avalon. Lord crashing in at bottom while the waves crashing. Oh, Arva comes in with another ultimate. We're looking at the damage down. Goes zero and Chapao due to basic. The core is at half health. They're still trying to put it on. We were seeing this before. Arvel in a bad way. He's going to be Savage. Yeah, actually able Savage. to find himself and escape. Savage. Now Basic finds Savage. another kill. It's the Savage. Savage. It is the second Savage of the NACT. This time for Basic. I saw it coming from the double kill. I was like, they're going to give it to him. And Basic closes the game with a beautiful Savage. Really well played from Avalon. He got some, you know, tough moments in the game, but they did pretty good overall, huh? And to one end, we're right. Good job, Private. The prediction <laughs> was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Yui on the other end. There's a little glimmer of hope there uh, for them to take a But man, Avalon absolutely showing uh, why they are third place right now, or at least mm -hmm. they were third place in stage one. They're definitely looking to kind of move up there as well. A great showing from Basic as well. Yep, yep. yep. The Leslie ramping up power, you know, the true damage from, from, from those hits, you know, those shadow hits. Uh, coming in against tanky target is just uh, getting more and more exciting as you as you progress and it works out really well concluded with a savage 10 for free for basic uh we got very nice sets from arvel beautiful oh, plays i understand why it was banned earlier no i really do full in 5 1 13 really involved in most of the kills for his team and overall avalon controlling the game peacefully and and meticulously the surgeons uh, in this series for sure. Chapeau a bit disappointed by the, the result with the Kadita, but what can you do? It's, it's tough. Every time he was trying to pick someone, it was just a glimmer of, of HP left. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a pile just over there, just um, working his way down the roster, taking down Knights of Fate one by one. You see the immortalities there popped, takes down Powerless. Now there's only two members left. I think next was Kai and then Mikasa, the lone hero left, getting taken out by Basic for the Knight's first Savage, but the second Savage in the NACT. Demon and Lilia, it's always a funny hero for me, Lilia, because... You don't really see her doing much, but when you watch the damage dealt, it's always insane, right? It's very surprising. Demon was involved. Uh, I think his rotation was slightly earlier than Kadita, so his, 